side and angle relationships of equilateral triangles. In an equilateral triangle, all three angles are congruent and each measures 60 degrees. We know that all equilateral triangles have sides that are the same length, which means they're all congruent. That's why we see a tick mark on each of the three sides of an equilateral triangle to tell us that they are each congruent to each other. As a result, all of the angles in an equilateral triangle are congruent as well. So in this triangle we have angle P, angle Q, and angle R, and they are each congruent to one another. And because the sum of all of the angles inside of a triangle is 180 degrees, each of those angles, uh, P, Q, and R, are 60 degrees. An equilateral triangle can also be called an equiangular triangle since it has three congruent angles. Let X represent the measure in degrees of each angle of an equilateral triangle. So X plus X plus X equals 180 degrees. Well, we know from previous units that 1X plus 1X plus 1X is 3X, so we're saying 3X equals 180 degrees. And if we were to solve this equation by dividing by 3 on both sides, we would see that x equals 60 degrees. So this is why all of the angles in an equilateral triangle are congruent. Because we know this to be true about equilateral triangles, we can write and solve equations to solve for missing values. So let's look at this problem right here. Write and solve equations to determine the values of x and y in the figure. First, let's start with the value of x. If I look at the picture, I see x is in one of the corners, which means it's a measure of an angle. So since triangle WVZ is equilateral, meaning all three sides are congruent, and we can see that it has those three tick marks, it is also equiangular. So each of these three angles inside of the triangle are congruent. So the measure of angle W is 60 degrees because remember in an equilateral triangle each of the angles measures 60 degrees. Because we know this we can say hey well 4x is in one of the corners and 4x equals 60 because that corner is an angle with a measure of 60 degrees. So I have 4x equals 60 and to solve, we're going to divide each side by 4, keeping it balanced. 4x divided by 4 is just x, and 60 divided by 4 is 15. And of course, because we're measuring angles, we have to put our degree symbol. x is 15 degrees. Now we need to find the value of y, and as I refer back to the figure, back to the picture, I see that 6.1y is listed as one of the sides, and I'm also given a measurement of one of the other sides. And because this is an equilateral triangle, I know that all of the sides are congruent, meaning they're all equal to each other. So side wz, this side right here, is congruent to the side vz, which is this side right here. So I can write 6.1y equals 25.62. And so I want to get that y by itself on the one side. So I'm going to have to divide both sides by 6.1 to see what I get for y. So you can see off to the right, I went ahead and did that division problem for us just so it didn't take up so much time in the video. But remember that when you're dividing with decimals, if there's a decimal on the outside, we have to move it over to the end of the number. And however many times we move that decimal, we have to move the inside decimal as well. So I moved the outside decimal to the right once, meaning I have to move the inside decimal to the right once. So now I have 256.2 divided by 61. And when I do that, I get 4.2. So on the left side of our equation, we had 6.1y divided by 6.1, and that's just y. And then 25.62 divided by 6.1 was 4.2. And we cannot forget the unit of measurement. So let's look back at the picture and see what each side was measured with. 
and that was an M for meters, so Y equals 4.2 meters. Now this one I want you to do completely on your own. Remember that this is an equilateral triangle, meaning all of the sides are congruent to each other, and all of the angles are equal to each other as well, and each angle is 60 degrees. So you need to write and solve equations to determine the values of X and Y in the figure, and we will check this in class. Good luck, I'll see you then.